Hey, it's Ellie and I wanted to recommend this book called Factfulness by Hans Rosling and his son Ola Rosling and also Anna Rosling, Ola's wife. You might have heard of this book, it is on the top of many geography reading lists and you also probably might have heard of Hans Rosling. So he actually created the website Gapminder which shows bubbles and how we can understand development indicators looking at kind of life expectancy and GNI and also Anna Rosling um, created the website Dollar Street where, which shows photos of what it's like to live around the world. And they basically created this book because they found they were asking these almost like simple questions about development and finding that many people were getting them wrong, like really quite educated people. So much so that on average, a chimpanzee picking at random would get a higher mark. So it starts at the beginning with a quiz and it asks you some questions. Oh, those are the, um, the bubble charts I was saying about. So for example, it says, where does the majority of the population in the world live? Is it in high income, low income or middle income countries? What is the life expectancy of the world's average life expectancy? How many deaths have occurred from natural disasters? How is this changing over time? So the kind of questions, and actually they found loads of them getting them wrong. So they look at this book and they look at 10 basic instincts on why we have such a dramatic world view and why it's sometimes more pessimistic, like why we think the world is so much worse than it is. And it kind of gives us hope, but also like unpicks different parts and says like, actually, this is the story. And actually there's a lot more reasons to be hopeful in the world today. Another thing I really like about this book is they offer a different way of viewing development in the world. So some people are taught when we look comparing development across the world, the rich north and the poor south, or the have and the have nots, the developed and the developing, most economically developed, least economically developed. And it is so binary and so untrue of what the world is like today that the world has rapidly changed, like countries are developing. And also within each country, there are so many levels of development. And so what they give in this book is an alternative way of looking at development by looking at four different income levels. And they compare it in quite simple ways. So kind of level one is not owning any transport. Level two is kind of owning a bike. Level three is you might have a car or a motorbike. And level four is you probably have a car, if not, you might have many cars. And you can move between the levels as well. So it just looks at the world in just a way that we should be looking at it today and takes away any of the previous misconceptions and inaccuracies we have about the world. It's very light-hearted as well. Hans Rosling um, is always quite funny if you've seen him on like TED Talks as well. So there's like lots of little stories and anecdotes. So it is a really easy read, but definitely like this is a cool number one reading book definitely grab it um, it's got quite good visuals inside if you have read it read it sorry if you have read it let me know how you get on i would love to hear about it